<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. So welcome to my house. And um, I'm going to give you a little bit of fire and grace tonight. And um, so I wanted to start off um, on the right foot tonight with um, my signs. So hold, please. <clears throat> A, a little improvement from last time, but <laughs> how's that? <laughs> so please go to BeckyDenton.com um, after this show or during the show. And hi, Cheryl. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, but you can look and see uh, what's going on, um, you know, with, with everything. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> get started. Uh, hi, Jeff. And so I might say hi to y'all every now and then. Um, <clears throat> I hope you've had a good Saturday. Um, I did think of one thing, and it is um, the National um, Husband Appreciation Day, and I thought of something that I want to ask Will. So I'm not, I'm not going to leave the frame, um, but I'm going to ask him something. Um, would you run and get a, a plant in the windowsill, please. Sure. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> so, wives, if you didn't know that, so just go ahead and wish your husband uh, a happy day. So, <clears throat> I've got to get my favorite pick here. Here we go. So, um, I wanted to start off with uh, some songs um, about Fire and Grace, and um, I'm going to start off with one that, thank you, that uh, I wrote with Joanna Janae, and she has a couple kids, and um, I have uh, kids. Um, I have my daughter, of course, Celia, and then um, I have kids um, that Will, you know, I get to share with Will, so... Um, Anyway, uh, I wanted to uh, introduce this song to you. I'm sure you've heard it if you follow my music, but um, anyway, it's called Fire and Grace, and it's uh, a little bit of uh, about me and about my daughter and my mom, and um, here we go.
Well, she loves with one abandon, but she ain't very divine. And she'll take what life gives her, all the beauty and sacrifice. She's always had what it And Grace and I co-wrote that with Miss Joanna Janae and I'm gonna put my guitar down because I want to talk to you guys a little bit more and use my hands at the same time so this is my CD that um, this is my album and this is fire and grace and that's the back front and here's the inside so um, fire and grace is the um, it's in there let's see it is number six and um, I wanted to show you guys, um, I hope you have something, you know, that you're, you're able to, to, to have while you're, drink while you're have, watching the show. But um, anyway, this is one of my um, merch items, and it's on my website, and it's Fire and Grace, my mug. And I'm having some water right now. And, um, but anyway, uh, but you can go to BeckyDenton.com, and um, you can get a mug if you wish. Um, and from what I understand, I know that the printing is um, behind just a little bit because of, you know, today's circumstances with COVID-19, but um, they are available. So um, anyway, you can, again, uh, go to my website. And for those of you who just logged in, I, I, I want to show you a little improvement from last time. So how about that? <laughs> um, so go to BeckyDenton.com and check it out. Um, so, if you were at the show from a couple weeks ago, I talked about, um, you know, Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colors, and I did a little uh, pre-show before Rowdy Yates was on, and um, anyway, I want to show you guys something that I made, because um, I know I showed you things that my mom made, uh, I, I showed you something that my Grandma Turner made and my Grandma Walker made, now I'm going to show you something that I made and I remember this from high school, so just just get ready. So this is my outfit of many colors, I, I guess I'll say. Um, so, and I really was proud of this. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna talk on the mic while I'm talking to you guys. I'm just gonna swing it over. So I was really proud of this. Um, I, I think I made this in 4-H and um, I proudly wore it to school. In fact, I remember one of my um, uh, classmates commented on my outfit and he was probably, you know, like, whoa. But I was really proud of it. You know, I picked out the material and, um, you know, it was just, just lots, of, lots, of, lots of color going on. And, and I don't know why, but I, I picked out this print and um, and just remember, I, I wore this proudly to school. Uh, I was a freshman in high school. Okay, so I, I really I really thought I had it going on. Okay, so <laughs> are you ready? Oh, you did. <laughs> you definitely did. So this was my um, my four H outfit that I made, and I'm not sure what you call this. Maybe like skort. I I think they're classified as skorts because these are shorts. Okay, so. So it's not a skirt and it's not shorts, but it's like, you know, one a one piece outfit sort of. And then it's got a tie in the back, okay? And yes, I proudly wore this to school and um, up and down the freshman hall, you know, when I was a freshman up and down the hallways. So uh, yeah, and check out these, you know, this collar. I mean, look at my stitching. I mean, it's not too bad, right, right? So I have my mom to thank me for um, showing me how to sew. She was my sewing instructor um, in 4-H. But anyway, I just wanted to show you my outfit of many colors. So, and I don't know why. I, I mean, shoes. I just, I was like, yes, I, shoes. I must have shoes. So <laughs> anyway, um, 
that is my outfit of many colors, and I'm sure um, you all have um, a, you know a story to tell about your outfit. So um, you know from high school, but um, so feel free to share those with me. Um, but I'm gonna sing you now a song from um, my album, and it's called "I Love Dolly." And <clears throat> here we go. I gotta find my favorite pick again. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I bet you have a, an, out, an outfit you'd like to share. <laughs> on the record so um, I'm very thankful to know Mr. Bill White and he's a great great friend and um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a little request and um, this is a little um, <clears throat> unorthodox because I actually already know the request it was it was submitted like over uh, like two weeks ago so <laughs> anyway um, I'm gonna have my uh, my uh, my sound crew here <laughs> will and he's gonna move the camera back just a little bit because he's he's gonna help on this one so 
Yeah. Just I'll hold see, on tight, people. I'll see you guys in a second, but just know the playing part I'm doing tonight is not nearly as important as moving the camera back to the right <laughs> spot. You're doing great. If I mess this up, that whole husband appreciation thing <laughs> is kaput. How's it look? All right, good. You look Yay. great. Yay. Good job. I am a professional. Job, Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, you sound great. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> So uh, this is a request from my one of my friends, um, my dear friends across the street, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she had a birthday a couple weeks ago, and uh, she's my neighbor, and yeah. this is um, one of her uh, favorite songs on the record, and I wrote this, I co-wrote this with uh, one of our other good friends, Mr. Brent Rader, and we wrote this, um, gosh, I guess 2003. 16? Yes, I mean, we've had it for a while. Yeah, yeah. and um, I hope, well, I hope you're in the camera enough. Maybe I'll, yeah. I feel like I'm doing everyone okay. a favor. Okay. <laughs> we've got the trouble fluff, you know, center stage. But yeah. um, anyway, uh, happy birthday, Gail. And um, so this is for you, and it's called I Call It Love for those of you who uh, may not have heard it before. It's a little hand reaching out for more in the middle of the night. And that familiar boy saying it's alright with arms open wide. It's a teenage girl showing off, trying to catch his eye. And a teenage girl with long, long curls feeling. Oh, 
Happy birthday, Gail. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have a request, you know, if you have a special day coming up or you have a um, somebody you love that has a special day coming up, um, let me know, and maybe I'll work something up for you. So, um, I, now, here's really one great thing about these cameras, you know. Um, I get to just kind of adjust. So, yeah, I've got the things hanging the way they shouldn't be, so I get to adjust a little bit. Um, so, how many, uh, I guess you can't really raise your hand. I guess you can, you know, <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not in the classroom, but I'm going to move the mic back a little bit more so I can talk to you guys best. So, um, I planted today, and um, I, I was going to um, set some tomatoes out, and um, but it, I, I did read up a little bit, and I think it's still just a little too soon um, for the kind the the gardener skills that I have. I just feel like they would probably die this early. So in 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 northeast Missouri, um, but I didn't want to uh, t tell you that I did. Um, start some little seeds and I put them in the egg carton and I hope I'm not boring you to death but I wanted to show you um, my daughter has a class assignment and and she has some some major growth on her assignment so hang on and I, I think this is labeled right um, okay so this is her radish plant this is Stelia's radish plant so um, she's really excited <laughs> And I, I'm really excited too. But anyway, so that's one of the, the homeschool projects um, that, you know, we've done so far. And this is a science experiment. And I think it's, you know, she's she's um, pa made a passing grade so far, I think. Um, but uh, my mom gardened when I was growing up. My mom and dad, of course, um, you know, dad helped her a lot too. And I don't know if they'll have a garden this year, but... Um, just to kind of weave into the fire and grace theme, um, that, that is, uh, so I guess something that my mom passed down to me. And, um, so I, you know, I know, um, that Celia is watching, watching me too. And so maybe that's something that I'll pass down to her. And, um, I did want to show you something, um, w with these, with these mugs. Um, so my logo for fire and grace is, that's that's me, okay? Or at least that's kind of supposed to be my hair, okay? Oh, you can see my lipstick. Hang on. Oops. <laughs> and uh, and this is a, a Queen Anne's lace flower, if you can see. And um, they also call it um, wild carrot. And when I was growing up, that's a flower that we often picked when we would take walks um, with my mom. And then she would uh, cut the flower and then put it in a vase and... And we'd usually put some kind of food coloring in the vase and then watch the 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 flower change color. And um, so the whole concept of the record for Fire and Grace was, um, you know, the grace is, you know, some of my mom, the fire is some of my dad, and, and they pass that down to me. And I see those same qualities in, you know, my daughter. And so I think those are, you know, really good, uh, you know, Traits, I guess, to pass down, um, especially um, just today, we, we have to have fire um, to keep going, and we have to have grace. And even if COVID-19 weren't happening, we still have to have it. Um, you got to have it to um, just, just get through life. And they're both, um, so I'm really thankful that my mom and dad instilled those qualities in me, or, or I feel like, a, you know, I, know, I understand what they are. So um, I... Uh, I'm going to sing you a song that, uh, it, an, it's another Bill White co-write, Bill White co-write, and um, my husband, Will, he also wrote this with us, and it's called Plant a Little Seed, and it is not on the record, but I just thought that it would be fitting to uh, play for y'all tonight, because um, if, if this is becoming gardening season, and, um, but it's not really, it is about it can be about gardening, but it, it's it's a lot more it's it's a lot more deep than that, and it's about um, planting a seed, um, you know, in your in your child or in your 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 student or whomever you're friends with, and um, you know, uh, and watching it grow, watching that friendship grow, um, watching that child grow. Um, so here we go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I think 
think I'm going to have to capo this, so hang tight. I do that a lot. I start a song, and I'm like, wait, i gotta, I got to use my best friend here. This is my, my best friend a lot of times when I'm doing shows. This is a capo. Here we go. That's better. a little C. All right, so it is that time again. I'm going to bring Will back into the, the frame here, so hold on tight again. Yeah, strap yourselves in, everyone. You may experience slight dizziness. All right. Man. Not bad. Not I, I, bad. I feel pretty good about this. Well... I'm not in the frame. Just not in the frame. There we go. Okay. So, um, I wrote this one with, I co-wrote this with our friend Natalie, and um, she just released um, a, a song yesterday, and it's called Something I Can Dance To, and um, sh her name is Natalie Hoffman, um, but her artist name, it, she goes by, well, it was Natalie Page, now it's Natalie Murphy. Murphy. So, um, <laughs> I think her 
middle name is Paige, but she's Natalie Murphy um, yeah. as an artist. And um, anyway, uh, she she came up with this um, song idea, I guess, uh, and we wrote this over um, FaceTime or Skype. Uh, I think it was FaceTime. Um, so it's, you know, just kind of, that was way before, um, you know, COVID-19. But um, I, I also did a, a a FaceTime right last week, and so uh, it's not too bad, you know, um, but I know a lot of writers, um, even, you know, that that's what we do. It's hard to get everybody together um, a lot of times, and so um, this one was written over uh, FaceTime, and uh, it's called... <clears throat> Am I on the right song, Will? Okay. No, I actually, uh, I, 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 okay. I, actually, I moved it too soon. You okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Bring it back. Bring it and back. And I here. just lost my job. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. All I'm right. going to go hide in shame. I was like, wait a minute. Will does not play piano on this, but I cannot. Um, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm confused. So that's okay. This is a live show, okay? So um, just things happen. So just, I know you're patient. Um, but it's called dancing song and um it's uh so if, if you can you can get up and dance to this song and uh I'm just ha give me a moment i'm gonna find my groove and i'm also on um instagram live this this is my first time to do this um simultaneously so um i'm gonna just gonna while while you're you know looking at my treble clef back there on facebook i'm just gonna swing this over a little bit on instagram isn't this wild you can just use these formats okay There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, we'll see if there's any more viewers on Instagram. So, <laughs> um, well, if you just tuned in, thank you all so much. Hi, hi, Patty. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I have to say, you know, performing live is probably. I'm going to move this mic again. I'm sorry. I got to talk to y'all. I know. Don't you want to see my teeth, right? <laughs> but, um. Performing live is uh, one of my favorite things about, um, you know, why I do music. So, you know, doing this, um, I, that my first, well, not my first attempt, but I guess I did a show, um, you know, a couple weeks ago when we we, we did the Rowdy, Rowdy Yates, um, sh you know, uh, opener, if you will. And uh, make sure you tune in to Rowdy, by the way, tonight, because he is, um, his show has started, um, b you know, by now. But anyway, uh, I just want to say that um, live entertainment is probably my favorite part about being an artist, musician. And um, so this is, I guess, um, you know, the, one of the next best things to being live because um, um, th th it is live. But uh, anyway, I know that I'm probably speaking for a lot of musicians, um, we do appreciate you all just tuning in, and and uh, we just really want to get back out there. And you know, the thing is, you just we don't know when that will be. Um, so uh, we, we're just going to keep offering um, what we can right now. And um, and um, but we we do really appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, so I'm going to get to it. So this is called a dancing song. And let me find my groove.
I hope you're dancing. <laughs> All right, well, now, but now it's time. We can move the camera back. Uh, I am so fired. <laughs> All right. All right. I still feel like you need to be. Yeah. How's that? I think that's All right. perfect. And I also wanted to plug one more thing about about my merch. Um, I was going to wear my Fire and Grace song, or Fire and Grace shirt, <laughs> my Fire and Grace song, but um, I, I realized that I have left my merch box in Nashville, so, um, and it has my, t my you know, the t-shirts that I have, um, that I wear, so I, th these um, are just a little bit smaller, but. That's actually my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. So I have this one. On me. And I have this one. And um, I'll talk a little bit more um, when we get finished with this song. I'll bring the camera back up a little bit closer. Um, but because it is uh, the Husband Appreciation Day, um, I do really appreciate you, Will, and all that you do. And um, this song is is uh, another one that I co-wrote with Brent Rader. And... Um, it, it's actually, uh, you know, uh, we couldn't have written it. I mean, it, it just kind of wrote itself, and like some songwriters say. I know it sounds cliche, but it really seemed to. Um, but I feel like it was, um, uh, you know, God had his hand in that, in, in, in this song for sure. And um, I think of uh, Will and I when, when I sing this song. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm really thankful that, um, you know, Brent, um, I wrote this with me, and he um, he, he also um, produced the song and uh, uh, his version on the record. We Will and I produced um, the song, but um, we're hoping to have um, something special with Brent um, in the coming months um, that we're going to get to offer for you all. Um, and uh, it's called Love Don't Care. Oh, 
Thank you, honey. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to move the camera just a little bit closer. I want to talk to you guys again. Okay. So, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Sound crew, come on. All right, let's go. Hey, move the ghost. All right. All right. There you go. I'm going to move this back. So, um, anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. And um, so I wanted to share some good news with you. Um, if you follow my page you probably already know this but um uh fire and grace was nominated for an award um recently and um so i i, I it, it this came as a big surprise and um i have will to thank for this because he actually submitted um the album and it's up for the 18th let me get this right the 18th annual independent music awards and it's in the country album category and there's Ooh. there are two other people um in the in you know listed and so congratulations to them and to everybody who you know is is on the uh you know nominee list but um i just want to let you all know that we um are very excited about it of course but um we we put a lot of um hard work and spirit and love and time and effort and um you know over over a few years um to put the record together and to independently release something um is um there's a lot to it um it's fun in in some ways and in some ways it's like uh, i don't really understand exactly you know what to do um on this um it, and that's more on the nuts and bolts of releasing it but anyway i i won't bore you with all of that but um we're excited and i'm, I'm very thankful for everybody who had a hand in the creative process of fire and grace and um you know the songwriters musicians um anybody who you know just you all um supporting the, you know the the album and we i really really do appreciate it and um so anyway uh please go to my website, beckydenton.com, and um, you can, you know, check out some stuff there. And here, I'll, I'll hold it up one more time. <laughs> so um, some of you have, you know, asked about tips and that kind of thing, but that's on my website, um, that information. And um, anyway, I hope uh, to have another show very soon. And excuse me, I just wanted to um, also invite you to go to radiates uh, com or radioradio.com um, if you can't tune it in on your local channel uh, because Radiates is on tonight. And um, anyway, I I think we're going to work up another um, show um, before before he he goes on and you know in the future. And um, I really do appreciate y'all watching and have a great rest of your weekend. And my name is Becky Denton. And please give it up for my husband, Will Denton. He's, he's, he's right behind, <laughs> right behind the camera. Where I belong. Um, but uh, anyway, y'all have a great night, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>